So in this video, we're going to talk about parallax object files, and we're going to talk about how they relate to the ships table. Um, so I've got the ships table open right now, and I've got the Fenris entry for the ships table open right now. And um, you might be wondering, if you're looking through this, uh, what these subsystems uh, actually mean. For example, if you look at the communication subsystem, how what where is the communication subsystem located on the Fenris? How big is the communication subsystem? Uh, this one line table entry doesn't seem to be telling me the whole story, um, and that's true. It doesn't tell you the whole story. Uh, what has that information is the parallax object file, and so every um, ship's table entry will have the parallax object file reference um, in in that ship's table entry. So um, this Fenris corresponds to Cruiser 01. Now where do we find this parallax object file? In your main free space root directory, uh, you there's the Sparky VP and Sparky's got uh, all your effects and models in it. So let's whoops, let's open up Sparky and uh, open up Cruiser uh, 1 in Data Models, Cruiser 01. Now in order to open this parallax object file, whoa, <laughs> okay, <laughs> in order to open this parallax object file, you need PCS2. And uh, if you don't have PCS2, check the link that I provided in the description and get it right now. Uh, pause this video and then come back when you got it. Okay, so I'm assuming you have PCS2 now. Uh, so you're able to open this and you can see that it's a Fenris. So um, this is the actual model for your ship, but it's got a lot more information than just your model. For example, under special points here, and if you select special points and then communications under that special point, you'll see a highlighted yellow uh, sphere. And what the intersection of this sphere is with the model is what your actual communication subsystem is. If the player shoots that portion of the ship and hits it, damage will be done to the communication subsystem. So every, every ball here, uh, the engine, the navigations, the weapons, the sensors, um, will, will correspond to a subsystem. All right, cool. Now, um, if we go to turrets here, we can see all the, all the subsystems and there are turrets. Um, and we could actually see in, in the table entry, we could see that which weapon is specified. These are all weapons in the weapons table. Um, but these, this line here is uh, the actual turret subsystem. It says, hey, there's a parallax object file um, subsystem that I'm re referencing. So those are all here. Uh, turret 1, turret 2, turret 3, turret 4. The names are exactly what they are in the table. And then this uh, turret main is, is the fusion mortar um, that we could see on the bottom here. That's the fusion mortar. Okay, good. Whoops. All right. So um, the final thing I want to talk about with the Fenris is um, the levels of detail in the debris. Now, when when a ship renders an FSO, um, it will it depends on how far it is away from you. For example, um, Cruiser A. This is the most detailed model you're going to see. But if you drift a little bit further away from it, you're going to see something a little more like that. And if you keep drifting further, you're going to see that. And finally, uh, far off in the distance, you're going to see this. Very small, very difficult to see because it'll be so far away, but that's what will be rendered if you're so far away. And uh, that line that corresponds to that in the table is detailed distance. So from 0 to 600 meters, you're going to see uh, the most detailed model, and then to 1,500 meters, and then the final cutoff is 5,000 meters, which is pretty far away. Uh, you, you'll see that um, that block looking thing. Okay. Uh, also to note is that your textures are um, your textures are specified here. 
um, as well in the parallax object file. Okay, now I want to talk to I want to talk about um, my favorite ship, the Herc Mark II, and I want to talk about uh, gun points and missile points, which is something that is uh, exclusive to fighters. Cruisers don't have gun points and missile points. So if I go up to um, if I go entry and I find the Herc Mark II uh, all the way to the top, just control F. Okay, I'll get this table entry and I will notice that there's two things here. There's default P banks and there's default S banks. Notice, and this is very important, that there are two and there are two um, lines in quotation marks here, right? So there's Subak HL7 and Prometheus R. That means something. That means that there are two primary banks filled with those those two weapons, and what and that has to correspond to the parallax object file. There are two uh, gun banks in the Herc Mark II. So there, this particular gun bank one has two firing points and this gun bank two has two firing points. Okay, good. Uh, missile bank one has, you know, it, it will, the missile banks, you saw that there were two missile banks in the tables. Now there are two missile banks in the parallax object file and each um, missile bank has fire points that it cycles through. So you fire missiles and it'll cycle through uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, respectively. Okay. Um, and then I want to talk about the, the shield. The shield's basically a um, balloon that goes around the ship um, and it's uh, it's specified in the parallax object file and um, that's really all I want to say about it that right now but the shield is is in the parallax object file and we'll we'll learn more about that in a later video okay now uh, missiles actually before I talk about this talk about skyboxes a little bit because this is a this is another type of parallax object file now if you're in uh, FSO and you um, and every and I uh, sorry if you're in Fred and you're talking about a uh, a skybox and you you want to you want to use a skybox you have to reference a parallax object file <clears throat> so um, this is called starfield poth this is a uh, very popular skybox because it's in media vps by default so all you have to do when you're in fred if you're in the backgrounds editor you just type in starfield poth and uh, and then you'll it'll reference this skybox and so what a skybox is is it's a it's a uh, it's an object with a texture on it that the player is inside that object looking out. So this sphere, the player is inside this sphere looking out, and when he sees the or she sees the inside of this sphere, they will see all the stars, or or, or you know whatever's in your skybox, the nebulas, the planets, all that. I highly suggest that if you care about your mod you create a skybox because they look so much better than default retail graphics. That's enough about skybox. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about, the last type of parallax object file, um, are missiles. So this is uh, Stiletto 2 out of Sparky, out of uh, data models in Sparky. And um, all I really want to say about this is how simple a missile is. Uh, all it is is a sub object. You can have levels of detail. You don't have to have levels of detail. Um, and uh, the the person who made this chose to use modeled thrusters. So that's what this gray uh, part sticking out the back is. Um, that that's that's the modeled thruster. But um, all you need to do to create a, uh, a parallax object file missile is really one single sub object that specifies the model and make sure that it's pointed in the right direction so that your missile is not flying sideways. Um, that's all I want to say in this video. In the next video um, we're actually going to make a parallax object file from scratch. Um, so that's something to look forward to in the next video.